one of the people who from Seattle who has uh, stepped forward, uh, I would like to invite and, and contributed enormously for the COVID relief efforts, for perhaps our biggest donor so far for COVID relief, that has been Srivats. Uh, and so I would like Srivats to join in and uh, say a few words. And before as he was joined in, joins in, I, Abe also want to like, I want to draw the attention to Saif, who is also on the call. Saif is a doctor, and he knows uh, you both have mutual friends, Nobs Roy, Dr. Roy, uh, Nobijit Roy. So Saif has been, uh, you know, he knows the work of Sati and Sehat and the groups in India through Roy. Thanks, Ravi. Um, you know, I'll just say a few words because uh, I think the more important people have already said the things that people came to hear today. But anyway, a couple of things. One is, uh, first of all, some of you know that it's been my privilege to be associated with uh, the people at AIG for a few years now. It was a good day, I remember, uh, when I happened to attend a lunch conversation that Kiran was presenting at, and he was talking about the farmer's suicide issue. And frankly, I have to confess, I didn't even know much about it. And that talk and that lunch with Kiran was so revealing, both in terms of just how dire the situation was and is for farmers in India. And actually that's not only uh, uh, restricted to India, of course, as we know, there is a problem here in this country as well. But just the sheer scale of the problem in India is, uh, is just so enormous. And also the other thing that struck me was how amazingly dedicated the aid team is, whether it's the Jeevan Sathis like Kiran or the local volunteers that you know I've had the pleasure of working with in the Seattle chapter. One of the things that you know I wanted to do, having been a financial supporter for a few orgs, uh, you know, that also do good work in India, whether it's Pratham or Asha, etc., I realized that aid was the team that I wanted to actually help with with my time and you know whatever little I could do with my effort as well. So it's actually been a privilege and an honor to be associated with both Ravi and the entire team. I will say that I believe it's a travesty that the people who feed us should be dying of hunger every day in India. And you know that just struck such a chord with me because when you see the images, when you hear of all these people and often killing themselves over a death that many in this country would probably spend on a large dinner with some friends. And we should recognize this not because of lack of hard work or the abilities or anything intrinsic like that. Sometimes, at least in my opinion, because the world is just not fair and you know, it's very, very disparate in terms of how we all have, uh, you know, luck play out for us. And to me, it's incumbent on those of us who have to help those who don't. Recent events, especially, uh, you know, in the last couple of weeks, even in this country, have shown us that uh, disparities and fault lines run across several planes, from income, opportunity, discrimination based on color or caste in India, of course, and so much more. The COVID crisis, of course, to me, it feels like it's hit some segments of the global population, especially very, very hard. And we've all heard about the migrants, uh, migrant workers in India and how difficult it has been for them. And you know, it often uh, comes to me that while I'm sitting here in my apartment, relatively unscathed, you know, eating well in the company of my kids, I'm reminded that tens of millions can take nothing for granted, not their next meal, not the company of their loved ones, and not even a roof to rest their head under tonight. I mean, just think about, you know, both all of us who are actually fairly fortunate, just how dire that situation is. And I believe we can't sit idly by and watch this happen. So I would say that if you don't have to worry about your next meal or where you sleep tonight, then please dig deep and find ways to support those who need us more than ever every day. And you've heard all the amazing work that these guys are doing on the ground in India. And thank you, Ravi, for organizing. I think this has been very, very helpful. And thank you to some of the people in the Seattle area and the Bay Area who have taken time out on a Sunday morning to come and join this call. I really appreciate it. I would say I'll uh, leave it this, every bit helps, but this is a time for us to really think at scale because the problem is that enormous. The more we give, the greater numbers we can help. Please dig deep. Thank you very much.